What's up guys, Felix the Creator here. In this tutorial I will show you the back and forth effect in Premiere Pro. You typically know this effect from some cool music videos. So let's dive into the timeline and I will show you how you can easily recreate this effect. Before we start, make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button for my upcoming videos. First of all, you have to locate a spot where you want to set this effect. In our case, let's say right here. And you have to set your first cut. Therefore, you can hit the C on your keyboard to select the razor tool. Or you can go here to the toolbar and select the razor tool right here. Make your first cut. Go a few frames forward. And make a second cut. Hit the V on your keyboard to go back to the selection tool. Or go to the selection tool right here in the toolbar. Now drag and drop the end of this clip here to the right side. We need this later on. Select the cut and duplicate them. You can do this by hitting Command C and Command V. Or you can select the Alt key on your keyboard and drag the clip to the right side. That is the fastest way to duplicate a clip. Now select the duplicated clip right here. Make a right click, go to the speed and duration and set the reverse speed on. OK. And now you can see in the preview how it works. For sure it's really cool, but it is too short. To make this effect longer, you have to select both clips right here, hit the Alt on your keyboard and drag them to the right side. That's already really cool, but let's say we make it a bit longer. So again, hit the Alt on your keyboard or the Command C and the Command V to duplicate these cuts and bring it here to the right side. Yeah, okay, nice, it works. And now go to the clip that we have separated here on the right side, the end of the clip, and bring it to the end. But as you can see, the end looks really shitty. This is because we ends of a clip that has the reverse speed on. So make sure to use a clip that is forwards in time and not backwards. Okay, let's use the first one, there's not a reverse speed on. Hit the Alt on your keyboard and drag it here to the end. Close the gap with the end of the footage. Yeah, and now we have a smooth ending. If you are interested in creating cool effects in Adobe Premiere Pro, make sure to watch one of my latest videos where I show you how you can recreate a flashback effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So make sure to watch the next video and hear you soon, Felix the Creator.